Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I thought it would be really fun to do another booktuber shout out video. I love doing these videos so much, um, I'm, I have like a whole cup of names in here um, and they're full of smaller channels, smaller booktubers, so um, I'm gonna probably pull out just 10 today, we'll see. They're all creators that I love and adore. And I hope you'll do too. These are all romance booktubers, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna rave and talk about all these people because I love them a lot. I love watching their stuff. So let's pick the first one here. I'm gonna do this one. Oh, we have Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl. I found Cheyenne a few months ago and I'm just in love with her content. Uh, she's really amazing at summarizing books. I have a really hard time <laughs> doing that. And I feel like she's really good about summarizing. I think she only reads contemporary romances. So if you're a contemporary romance gal, Cheyenne's one to look up. She reads a lot of dark romance. I know she's read some emotional ones, mafia romance. I know she also loves the Full Tilt Duet by Emma Scott like me. And um, she loves Emma Scott in general. She loves Julie Ann and a bunch of other amazing contemporary romance authors. She also reads a lot of Kindle Unlimited books. And so if you're into Kindle Unlimited, there you go. Shannon is just super sweet and very supportive and I'm so proud of how much her channel has grown since I first found her a couple months ago. Um, it's so well deserved. A lot of people should be following her and getting her recommendations because they're really good. Let's pick our next one. I grabbed two. Oops. <laughs> okay, we have Morgan from Nothing Better Than a Book. I love Morgan. She is so sweet. I just love her. I wish we lived closer. I think she also lives in Texas. I wish we lived closer so I could like see her in person and meet her baby. She had a baby recently. Oh, so cute. I feel like she's an amazing mom. She's so sweet and so caring and very supportive of all the other people on booktube as well. She also reads a lot of contemporary romances. I feel like that's the majority of what Morgan reads. I feel like she's more on the lighter and fluffier side. She doesn't read a lot of dark romances. So if dark romances aren't really your vibe, I check out Morgan's channel. Um, I feel like she reads a lot more rom-coms. Like that's more her type of romance. I did get one of my favorite romance recommendations from Morgan and it wasn't a contemporary. It's actually historical. It was um, Never Seduce the Scott by Maya Banks. Like literally my favorite historical of all time I got from Morgan. Um, I love her recs, they're so good. She's one of the sweetest people I've met online. So please, please, please go check her out. The next one is this one. Did I grab two? No, I didn't. Good. We have Samantha from Books with Samantha. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. I got to meet her earlier this year and I'm so happy that I did. I got to give her a big hug. I love Samantha so much. She is such a bright light in the romance community or just a bright light in general. She is so sweet. I love her personality so much. Like the way that she talks about books is amazing. You can tell that books are like everything to her. She owns like over 800 of them. <laughs> I love her love for historicals. I love her love for books. Her TikToks are so funny and cute. I love them. We've bonded over our love for novellas and Cassie Mann and Jessica Kane, and I love that. I love talking to her about that. She's just so sweet and I love her and I love talking to her about chronic illnesses too because um, we both are going through something and I love that I can connect to somebody in that way. And she's just so sweet and non-judgmental non and open to like everybody. And I, I love her. I love you, Samantha. We're gonna be doing the next one, number four. Let's pick this one. Oh, we have Amanda from Ginger Snapped Reads. I found her earlier this year and I love her content. She's really funny. I love her videos. She's really funny. I love her hair. It is gorgeous. Well, she's gorgeous in general. I feel like honestly, <laughs> her and Cheyenne's tastes are very similar in the fact that they read a lot of emotional stuff. They've read some dark stuff. I know that Amanda loves Sarah Kate books, which Sarah Kate is very popular right now. So I need to get on reading that. One of the last videos I watched from her is her like, reading the new Jennifer Hartman book for the first time and it absolutely wrecking her. So she has me very scared to read that book. Um, I think it's like June 1st or something like that, but she loves that book. It's one of her favorite books of the year and she loves emotional hard hitting ones. I feel like she 
mostly reads contemporary romances, I wanna say. I also love her Instagram, it's really good. I really recommend checking out Amanda. Number five, let's see, we're gonna go with this one. Okay, we have another small channel. We have Frey Lise. She's another channel that I found earlier this year. So Frey Lise, she reads, I wanna say, like a lot of what's popular on dark romance book talk right now, I wanna say. I wanna say she reads a lot of books on Kindle Unlimited. Um, as well. And then I also love her shelves. I think they're really pretty. One book that she keeps talking about that I really want to read is called, um, I think it's called A Vow of Hate by, is it Lila James? Lila James, I think. I read a, another series by this author and I really liked it, but I've never read A Vow of Hate. And she talks about it so much and I know that she loves it. So it makes me want to read it now. She's read like It Ain't Me Babe, um, the Kate Stewart Flock series. She's read Sky Warren books. So definitely a KU. <laughs> So yes, I want to say she reads the majority of darker romances on Kindle Unlimited. And I love listening to her recommendations because um, I like dark romances. I don't read them as much as she does, um, but I love getting her recommendations on here. Okay, we're halfway through. Let's pick out number six. Let's do this one. Oh my goodness, we have Steph from Novelty Corner. Um, Steph and I are, I think, very similar in the way that we read a lot of the subgenres in romance like she's not pigeonholed into one like she'll read monster romance alien romance historical romance contemporary romance like she reads like everything i want to say um and she also talks about like children's books on um her channel too because she's a teacher i just love stuff she's very supportive she loves i feel like commenting on other people's videos because i constantly get sweet comments from her and i love i love seeing them she's very supportive i of course love her discussion of monster romances and everything she loves evie mitchell she makes me want to read more evie mitchell i know that her and brie from in love and words like have buddy read a bunch of them together and a bunch of alexis hall books so i love steph so much she's a great supporter in the booktube world and y'all should totally go check her out, please. Number seven is this one. We have Deja. Oop, Deja from Deja's Book World. Now Deja is not primarily a romance reader. She reads, um, I think she reads horror and thrillers too. Like she doesn't just pigeonhole herself into a romance reader, um, but she she's a romance reader. She reads romance books, but she's not only a romance reader, but she's super funny. I love her videos so much. Her editing gets me every time. She puts like memes and vines and TikToks and like other stuff in her videos too. It's so funny. I know she's a girly like me who's still in college. And so she's having to make videos while she's still in college. So I understand the struggle, okay? But I just love her content. I personally just love, her as a person because she's so sweet and so cute um i love her instagram as well her stories she sometimes go on goes on like little rants and stuff and it is really funny to me i love watching her she's just overall a person that i could watch for hours even though we don't have the same reading taste necessarily because i will not read a horror or a thriller book so i love her and i think y'all will too this is number eight i'm gonna do this one i just ripped that <laughs> Oops, sorry, McKay. It's McKay from away, it's McKay. I'm sorry, McKay, I just opened it and it ripped. I love McKay so much. Um, she just hit 5K a couple months ago, so I'm so happy for her. Uh, she's one of the girls I got to meet in person in Atlanta and she's so cute and sweet i love her so much i love her because i can also gab about star wars with her because i normally don't get to do that really with anybody else <laughs> so i love being able to talk about star wars with her and everything in person she also made our jeopardy game which was so stinking fun but for reading tastes with her she reads a lot of ku books she reads a lot of contemporary romances her favorite romance book i want to say is sweet dandelion by Macalia Smeltzer, um, which she makes me want to read that book, honestly. Um, she talks about it so often. I really want to read it. So I know she reads hard hitting emotional romances too, as well as some fun steamy ones. <laughs> but yeah, McKay is just so stinking sweet. I love her and I'm so glad that I got to meet her. Please, please, please go subscribe to her. Number nine is going to be this one. Oh, we have Sarah from the Bookish Knitter. I think Sarah is so sweet. So Sarah reads a lot of contemporary romances. I wanna say she also reads 
historicals too, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sarah. She reads a lot of Harlequin books, which I appreciate. I wanna love Harlequin books. I read a few that I've liked, only the historical ones I've really liked, um, but she made me wanna get into Harlequin books. She was really sweet and kind to me when 2020 happened. It was a very stressful time for everybody. I know that Sarah's been going through um, some health issues recently, so I wanna support her and share my love for her because um, I can sympathize. I just love her. I think she's so sweet. Um, so if you're into the Harlequin crowd and um, really good contemporary romances, I really recommend checking out Sarah from The Bookish Knitter. Let's pick out our last one for this video. We're gonna do this one. Okay, so this is Maraid Lane. Um, I think that's how you say your name, Maraid. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it. <laughs> um, but she is a creator, I believe from the UK. Correct me please if I'm wrong. I love her recommendations because they're not ones that I've heard a lot about before. She reads mafia books. She reads contemporary romances. She's also written a book herself and it's on, is it on Kindle Unlimited? I'm not sure, um, but it's called Portraits of Us. Um, she was very sweet and sent me a arc. I still need to read it. I feel so bad. I haven't read it yet. Um, but the cover is stunning for that book. I love it. Um, so she's written a book herself and she talks about like her journey of writing and publishing a book, like going through the whole process on her channel. And I loved watching that video. It was so informative. It was so cool. She also loves a lot of the same tropes as I do. She loves like the single dad trope. She loves nanny romances. And so I just love getting romance wrecks that I've never heard about before from her. Um, and she also um, gets some of her wrecks from Book Talk, which I do too. So I love that. <laughs> so there you have it. These are some <laughs> romance tubers that i really recommend you check out they're all on like the smaller scale so please go give them some love if y'all want i can shout out some more later on in another video um but i didn't want to make this video super long so um please go check out all these people they're all going to be linked down below for you to go and click on they all post pretty consistently so i love that um and i hope that y'all love them too let me know down below if you have any romance tuber recommendations for me down below or if you are a romance booktuber let me know you can shout yourself out i would love to check you out um i always can get more people to subscribe to if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a pen emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up, Wake up. today's gonna be a good day